Today, we're going to demonstrate how to take down, measure, cut, wrap, and store our seal products. Seal Cutting, brought to you by Watson Bowman Acme. Approach the rack or staging area with your forklift. Make sure to maintain a line of sight and operate with care and precision. Watch the floor for pedestrians or other workers who have the right of way. Select a pallet with enough rubber to cut for your order. Keep in mind that a full pallet will have about 500 feet of rubber. Back up and lower the pallet to a safe distance from the floor. You are now ready to unwrap and measure out your seal. It is important that the ground is clear of debris so that nothing can puncture the seal. Using a walking measuring stick along the length of the seal, create a mark to signify the amount you need for your order. It is important to wear your safety gloves to cut the seal. This will protect your hands from potential nicks from the utility knife. Find the mark you made when measuring and cut a piece off there, applying enough pressure to cut through. Remove any excess seal. To prepare your shipment, place your measured piece on a pallet. Tie the end of the piece to the pallet and make sure to knot it so it won't come up. We use a spinning machine at our warehouse. You will wrap the seal into coils so that it is compact. Then you will take shrink wrap and place it on the corners so that it can be securely packaged for storage. Position more shrink wrap over the top. As it spins, it will cover the surface of the seal and secure it to the pallet. Now you will take the finished shipment to stage in the shipping area. Watch where you're driving and go backwards for a clearer view. Honk the forklift's horn as you are rounding corners and other blind spots. Finally, label it with its job number. Leave the seal on the shipping area rack. Loaders will take it when the truck arrives. We hope to make this process efficient and straightforward for your team, keeping safety at the forefront. Watson Bowman Acme, your strongest partner in expansion joints.